Salutations, Soldier Monkey Men. Soldier Monkey, back with another video. And today I'm doing my crazy collection of WWE things. So the first item on my list is I have a Survivor Series Slam by Slam. The biggest, baddest Survivor Series matches of and moments of all time. And it has some very nice stuff in there. I recommend you find this. I don't know where to find it. I found it at a book fair, so yeah. This I got for Christmas and it is a phenomenal thing. A book phenomenal book. A, a ultimate superstar guide. And what this has, most of you probably know about it. This has is like Bailey and it shows her background, her height, hometown signature move, and like Bailey's look is never complete without one of her many signature bows. And little things like that. Really like this book as well. Next thing I have is a silver, blue, and white Rey Mysterio mask that you can actually wear. And it is authentic and you can zip it up. Then you have the Mexican one. So for any of you who don't know what the Mexican colors are, it's red, white, and green, obviously, as you can tell on the mask. There's that. And then I have my raw ring, which I love to death. I've had this for eight years. Still in okay condition. Had this when I was so little. It wasn't even funny. Okay, here we have a raw t-shirt. We'll get to the t-shirts later. What we have here is a WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I'm just going to flip on this chair. And then we have a WWE United States Championship. And I'm just going to flip right there. Then we have a WWE Intercontinental Championship. I love this one. Looks so nice. The, probably the nicest one I have right next to the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the WWE Tag Team Championship belt, which I love to death. And it's so phenomenal. I don't have the second one. That's the next belt I'm getting, and I have the whole set. Okay, so next up, what we have is my t-shirts. So as you know... We have the raw t-shirt, which in which includes Dean Ambrose, Sting, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and Roman Reigns. I, um, I adore this t-shirt. I will never let anything happen to it. When I get too big for it, well, I'll just hang it up on my wall. I have a WWE Immortal shirt. I am not sponsored. My brother and I love this game to bits. I almost have every single character you can have. And, oh my gosh, is the game phenomenal. I recommend you guys try it out. Again, my videos aren't sponsored. I don't know how to get sponsors. I'm not a big enough channel for people to even know about me. Like businesses and stuff. Unless somebody of a business is, work, is watching my video. And they tell the whole company, yeah, they like my stuff. So, I have this one. It's another raw shirt, and it has Randy Orton with the blue, John Cena with the green, and Daniel Bryan with the red. This shirt I got from my uncle, who recently tried to commit suicide. And I'm okay, guys, um, for any of you that are, who are thinking, like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yes, he's, he's fine is what's important, mostly. I'm fine, and life's okay. So, here we have a WWE Superstar sticker collection. And what we have are, are like, figures of, like, the Superstar. So, it has, like, Ryback, and then it'll have, like, um, the logo of a wrestler, like, Orton. And see, it just has all that, and then it has the giant WWE logo. Which I am using for something, and I don't know what, but I have to use it. Uh, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, um, all the logos, all the superstars. They have, like, 
the ones from when they were with the shield. So that Dean Ambrose. And yes. Well, there's the sticker book. I really love that book. Love it so much. Um, this is all of my vests. This is a Triple H trench coat. Is that what they're called? WrestleMania 31. I'm sorry, I meant to correct that in my last video. Like the um the figure review. That was uh la there was a 31 WrestleMania with that one. Uh, I hear the footsteps above me and I'm all along. Scary, right? Um if I post this video, I'm still alive. Um <laughs> anyways, so I have this Triple H trend, trench coat, and it's from WrestleMania 30, either 30 or 31. I know that. It's the one where it was outside and it was all sunny. WrestleMania 30, I believe. Yes, maybe WrestleMania 31. I don't know, guys. Uh, then I have a custom Seth Rollins vest. It went, so which one of them was the four horsemen? figure that had like it was that guy right there where my fingers touching his head it was him that had this vest and i customized it to a seth Rollins vest then we have a roman reigns vest we have the wwe world heavyweight championship it came all purple i'm going to paint this and show you guys what it looks like i might make it a women's championship i don't know then i have the divas championship really like this I have the one of the Road Warriors bests. I currently can't find the other one. Um, some nice solid steel steps. They're not the ones that go into the corner, so they go on the side of the ring. Not like they don't go like that. They go like this, so it's okay. Then I have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the Spinner belt. Which I'm sure I might have already showed you guys. Sorry if my camera like tilted there for a second. I don't know what the heck that was. Then I have the Slam City Kane that I showed you in my figure review. I have the um, Break Apart Seth Rollins. And then I have a steel chair. You can buy a bunch of figures, like pl cheap plastic ones, and get these steel chairs for a dollar at the dollar store. So don't waste your money. Don't go to eBay. And waste like twelve dollars. Just go to the dollar store and the toy aisle, the plastic luchador wrestlers. Get those, and if they have a steel chair in them, because they come with a weapon, those are the greatest. Then you have these figures, which now that I think about it, I put them in this tub because to keep them all standing, and I felt like it looks nice. And now that I think about it, I can just put them away like that. Look at that! And so yeah, now I'm just gonna like put all my figures in there. 